Um, audiobooks. I don't like them. Um, reading is supposed to be a silent experience, occupation, exchange. Um, it's about some mysterious transference of um, indeterminate markings on a page to a narrative that is equally um, mysterious in our heads. Um, when they are actually turned into audible sounds, something happens which takes away the mystery and the private encounter with the story. Um, both my novels have been turned into audiobooks. I have one here. This is a whole load of CDs. I haven't listened to a word of it. Um, uh, I made the mistake of listening to the first couple of sentences of the my first novel, Betrayal of Naples, and didn't understand why the reader um, almost willfully um, sort of got the emphasis wrong and the, the cadence of every sentence. Um, I mean, clearly... He hadn't read it, uh, um, and therefore every line was a sort of um, approximation, um, a, you know, a first attempt at what the internal rhythm of the paragraph would be. So it was terrible, and awful. Um, and, I can't, and I certainly don't blame the the, the reader, um, the actor. Um, my work in radio, uh, I can't bear to listen to a because, quite frankly, it's not very good, and, and b. Um, because I want to give every actor a line reading. The line must be said like this. Um, uh, I mean, I, it was <laughs> it was quite throwaway comedy that I was writing with a friend of mine. Um, but uh, to me, every line needed the attention uh, of Beckett or Pinter directing their own work. Um, but yes, so... Um, I'm not a big fan of audiobooks, um, uh, but some people like them, and apparently it keeps you fit because people walk further if they listen to audiobooks um, on headphones, so that's a good thing. Um, but um, I don't like them because I don't like how the, the treatment they're given, which is what I've said, a sort of, you know, unless you're a, you know, a star author who gets a star reader. And whatever, and they spend a lot of time. You know, uh, Stephen Fry's Harry Potter's are exceptional. Um, I've heard them a lot of times because my son listens to them a lot. But the but he what he, I mean, he's you know obviously a very gifted uh, actor, reader, performer. Um, but he um, he even made um, Ms. Rowling's prose um, seem a little more. Um, What's the word distinguished than it perhaps is? Um, so I've decided that um, I thought I'd do my own audiobook. Um, I, there is a novel that I wrote about, well, about six years ago, uh, in between um, the last published novel and then the novel I'm publishing next year. Um, I, um, I wrote essentially a very, it's a very short novel, well, short in comparison to other things, it's about 70,000 words. I wrote a very short novel, which is essentially the third in the, the standalone trilogy um, uh, that, I, that I set in, in um, southern Italy uh, that moves progressively south. So the first one set in Naples, or is set and ends in Naples. The second one is set in Florence, Naples, and then further south in Calabria. And this one is set in Palermo and the uh, rural part of um, uh, Sicily. Um, now, what I'm doing differently is um, um, I have asked uh, a very good and old friend of mine, um, George Young, um, to essentially create a soundtrack for it. Um, so I think this is going to be a brand new kind of uh, audio book because it will have um, uh, a narration that um, is counterpointed um, by a, a, a musical score. Um, 
I've known George for 30 years. He's one of the most, if, well, I say one of the most gifted musicians I know. He's the most gifted musician I know. Um, uh, and uh, we worked together when we were teenagers um, and we haven't worked together since, um, what we have now. Um, and uh, it is startling what he can do, um, uh, which I feel you will, if you listen to it, you will agree. Um, I'm going to set it up on a new channel, um, but you can't, if you want to subscribe, um, you can't yet because there is no content. Um, uh, I'm going to have to make a short introductory video for it, and then the uh, the the book will be posted up um, in parts over the uh, over the summer, the uh, northern hemisphere summer. Um, uh, it's all recorded in a studio, so I won't be sitting here reading it. Um, it will be accompanied by just kind of um, sort of abstract images, um, maybe that have a, a flavour of the of the novel, um, but they will certainly be abstract. Um, but the idea is is that you're concentrating on the 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 um, the narrative and the music. So anyway, um, uh, I will be doing the introduction next week. Um, uh, so hopefully somewhere uh, less prosaic um, than um, my office here. Um, and then that will be followed up a couple of days by the first, I don't know how many, it's probably the first 10 minutes, um, and then in natural breaks across the summer. Um, but that's it. Um, so I hope you, if you like me, aren't sure about audiobooks, I hope you like this one. If you do like audiobooks, I hope you like this one. And if you don't like this one, um, that's okay too. Thank you very much.